everybody, my name is Austin Artesias, and, um, I've been working on something, that's why I haven't really been doing anything for the past few months. Uh, that's, but that's besides the point. It's really not that big of a thing, I've just been taking a long time, because I want to get it right. Um, that's, that, that makes it sound a lot bigger than it is, don't get your hopes up. So, I decided to crap on a really bad game. This is Gasp. This is the lowest rated free-to-play game on Steam with, if I check over here, 19% positive ratings. It is overwhelmingly negative and 81% of people thought this game was a piece of crap. Uh, so I'm really wondering uh, how they could mess it up that badly. It looks pretty interesting, but we'll probably, uh, I'll probably end up not being true. Uh, controls, how do, how do we control this game? Was sad to move. R and B to zoom. Uh, space to jump. Escape to pause. To change settings of the pause menu. Okay, cool. Credits. Who made this? Who made this piece of crap? Dark Day Interactive. Dark Day Interactive. Matthew Lee Venner, Mark Han, Catabelle, and John Hillman are who we have to thank for uh, this masterpiece of a game. It also has follow us Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on the title screen right here. Uh, just you know because. Sure, why not? <sighs> I... I'm honestly wondering how bad they could mess this up. Let's start. Can you survive? This is a survival game. There's DLC as well, apparently. Start game on the moon. Warning! This game is designed... Not designed to hold your hand. Once you die, then you die. Hello? Oh. Respond. No. Is this game made by 13 year olds? Look, it seems communications are down on your end, but we can ah. see you are receiving us just fine. I guess for now I'll guide you to the other team members. So, it seems your capsule yo, shut up. is miles from the LZ. You need to meet up with the others before your O2 oh. runs low. Right. Oh, Touch cool. is live and tracking the GPS signal on the other members. Hmm. Jesus Christ, can you shut up? So I can talk? So there are asteroids pummeling me. Oh my god! So, Jesus Christ! Okay, thank you! We're all praying for are you kidding me? Alright, so that was a good 18 and a half thousand hours of exposition there. Um, many things I have concerned about this game. One, it does not lock your mouse. Uh, I'm running this in a window, which means that if I want to zoom out over there, I right click on Steam. Um, also, I'm being pummeled with asteroids during the ex exposition, so that's wonderful. Um, and also, what a horrible premise for a game! Uh... <laughs> you just have to get- if I gather from the exposition correctly- Excuse me, I need to get my mouse in the right place because this game was made by people who don't know how to make games. You have to travel to a random one of those signals, which, like, yeah, uh, which I don't even know why they'd have to have a random one. But also, they're really far away. I didn't even notice that. That's, um, 5.3 kilometers, 3 kilometers, 4.15. That's way too much <laughs> distance. Also, 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 look at the bottom there. O2 oxygen levels, 81%. So apparently, I'm a fifth of the way dead already, and I haven't even started. Let's start. Which one's the closest one? What's that say? Ah, oh, this font is horrible. 1,473... Ah, Jesus Christ! 1,460... something kilometers. Uh, uh, meters. Jesus, not kilometers. Um... Let's go there. 72%. I am supposed to be 30% of the way there already. 28% if you're an... if you nitpick. Um... The graphics are... They look like that. Okay. I am constantly being pummeled with asteroids, and the asteroids don't even break when they hit the surface. They just sort of bounce, which is not realistic. Um, 
This game does not hold your hand. Uh, it's something I noticed in the beginning, so... Obviously, this game is going to be loved by uh, nostalgic video essay makers who thought the industry died in 2007. Um, uh, and modern games always hold your hand. Uh. Um, <laughs> let's carry on. <coughs> Towards this unknown signal. <clears throat> Whew. All right. Hey, how's it jumping? Does it? Okay, you jump higher depending on how. Wow, that's a high jump. I guess that kind of makes sense since you're on the moon. But not really, because how do you control how high you jump from, like, when you're jumping? Whatever. We're not even a quarter of the way there, I think. Uh, we were 1.5 kilometers away from it. Now we're 1.17. Um, I don't think that's yet a quarter of the way there. Definitely. Pro definitely not halfway. I don't know after certain. Um, let's see. 3. I guess we are about 3.75. Is that right? Yeah, 3.775. I mean. We under 75 meters, so we are about. We did travel. We are more than a quarter of the way there. So now we're a third of the way there. 69% oxygen levels. <laughs> and we. Alright, finish your GPS. Let's let's try to process what's going on here. There's a space station there. Skybox is pretty good. I think that's the best compliment I can give this game. Atmospheric as atmosphere. Too many warm colors, I'd say. Um Really weird. Okay. Yes. Prototype suit A two three E. How does that how does that help me? Okay, so I'm just walking, minding my own freaking business. And that's dying. <sighs> I think this is... Okay, well... I'm, I'm struggling to find out things to... think of things to say, because this is so incredibly boring. Um... Gasp. How can we turn that name into a good title? I am gasping at how ter terrible this is. There we go, that's the title of my video, unless I come up with something better later on. Ga gasp! This vi this game is so bad! Oh, which is really- okay, it's- Excuse me? Would you like to run that by me again, son? Ah! Gasp.exe has stopped working! Ah, ha, ha, ha. ah I love everything! Let's, um... Ooh. Hello, everybody. My name is Austin Odysseus. And, um... I've been working on something. That's why I haven't really been doing anything for the past few months. Uh, that's... But that's besides the point. It's really not that big of a thing. I've just been taking a long time. Because I want to get it right. Um... That's... That, that makes it sound a lot bigger than it is. Don't get your hopes up. So, I decided to crap on a really bad game. This is Gasp. This is the lowest rated free-to-play game on Steam with, if I check over here, 19% positive ratings. It is overwhelmingly negative and 81% of people thought this game was a piece of crap. Uh, so I'm really wondering uh, how they could mess it up that badly. It looks pretty interesting, but we'll probably... Uh, that'll probably end up not being true. Uh, controls. How do, how do we control this game? Was sad to move. R and B to zoom. Uh, space to jump. Escape to pause. Change settings of the pause menu. Okay, cool. Credits. Who made this? Who made this piece of crap? Dark Day Interactive. Dark Day Interactive. Matthew Lee Venner, Mark Han, Catabelle, and John Hillman are who we have to thank for, uh, this masterpiece of a game. It also has Follow Us, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. On the title screen right here uh, just you know because sure why not <sighs> I I'm honestly wondering how bad they could mess this up let's start can you survive this is a survival game there's DLC as well apparently start game on the moon warning this game is designed not designed to hold your hand once you die then you die 
Hello? Oh. Respond. No. Oh, okay. Is this Hello? game made by 13 year olds? Look, it seems communications are down on your end, but we can ah. see you are receiving us just fine. I guess for now I'll guide you to the other <sighs> team members. So, it seems your capsule is miles from the LZ. You need to meet up with the others before your O2 oh. runs low. Oh. Your touch oh. is live and tracking the GPS signal on the other members. Hmm. Jesus Christ, can you shut up? It seems to be so I can talk? So there are asteroids pummeling me. We're unsure which is the right signal. You're gonna have to choose one and hope for the best. Oh my god! Your O2 tank wasn't built for long surface trips, so you only get one chance to choose. Because I don't think the oxygen will hold out long. So, so you hurry. Jesus Christ! Okay, thank you. We're all praying for you. Are you kidding me? Alright, so that was a good 18 and a half thousand hours of exposition there. Um many things I have concerned about this game. One, it does not lock your mouse. Uh, I'm running this in a window, which means that if I want to zoom out over there, I right-click on Steam. Um, also, I'm being pummeled with asteroids during the exposition, so that's wonderful. Um, and... Also, what a horrible premise for a game. Uh, <laughs> you just have to get... If I gather from the exposition correctly... Excuse me, I need to get my mouse in the right place, because this game was made by people who don't know how to make games, you have to travel to a random one of those signals, which, like, yeah, uh, which I don't even know why they'd have to have a random one, but also they're really far away. I didn't even notice that. That's, um, 5.3 kilometers, 3 kilometers, 4.15, that's way too much <laughs> distance. Also, 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 look at the bottom there. O2 oxygen levels, 81%. So apparently, I'm a fifth of the way dead already, and I haven't even started. Let's start. Which one's the closest one? What's that say? Ah, oh, this font is horrible. 1,473. Ah, Jesus Christ! 1,460 something kilometers. Uh, uh, meters. Jesus, not kilometers. Um, let's go there. 72%. I am supposed to be 30% of the way there already. 28% if you're an, if you nitpick. Um The graphics are they look like that. Okay. I am constantly being pummeled with asteroids and the asteroids don't even break when they hit the surface. They just sort of bounce, which is not realistic. Um this game does not hold your hand, uh, is something I noticed at the beginning, so obviously this game is going to be loved by uh, nostalgic video essay makers without the industry dying in 2007. Um, uh, and modern games always hold your hand, uh. Um, <laughs> let's carry on. <coughs> Towards this unknown signal. <clears throat> Whew, alright. Whee! How's it jumping? Does it... Okay, you jump higher depending on how- Wow, that's a high jump. I guess that kind of makes sense since you're on the moon, but not really because how would you control how high you jump from, like, when you're jumping? Whatever. We're not even a quarter of the way there, I think. Uh, we were 1.5 kilometers away from it. Now we're 1.17. Um, I don't think that's yet a quarter of the way there. Definitely. Pro definitely not halfway. I don't know after certain. Um, let's see, three point. I guess we are about ooh, three point seven five. Is that right? Yeah, three point seven. Three hundred seventy-five. I mean. Three hundred seventy-five meters. So we are about. We did try, we are more than a quarter of the way there, so now we're a third of the way there. 69% oxygen levels. <laughs> and we... Alright, finish our GPS. Let's, let's try to process what's going on here. There's a space station there. Skybox is pretty good. I think that's the best compliment I can give this game. Atmospheric? As atmosphere? 
too many warm colors, I'd say. Um, really weird. Okay. Yes, prototype suit A two three E. How does that how does that help me? Okay, so I'm just walking, minding my own freaking business, and that's dying. I think this is... Okay, well... I'm, I'm struggling to find out things to... think of things to say, because this is so incredibly boring. Um... Gasp. How can we turn that name into a good title? I am gasping at how ter terrible this is. There we go, that's the title of my video, unless I come up with something better later on. Ga gasp! This vi this game is so bad. Oh, which is really okay. It's excuse me. Would you like to run that by me again, son? Ah, gasp.exe has stopped working. <laughs> ah, I love everything. Let's um. Ooh. Wait. Okay. Okay. I I hit start recording ASAP. That is happening. Okay. It it stopped crashing. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Discover the truth and secluded coming 2016! No, it didn't. Did it? Let's look. Did it? Store page. Okay, thank you. For freaking alright, I don't need to freaking see that or this. Shut up. Uh I was closing task manager and the internet troubleshooter because I was having trouble with the internet. Uh, and I need to trouble shoot the trouble uh, in the face, pow, with my big shooty trouble gun that shoots trouble in the face. So this was made, uh, this was released on November 12th, 2015 by Dark Day Interactive. So we can't blame Steam Direct, I'm sorry Jim Sterling. Uh, let's load up the Dark Day Interactive page. See what they've published. Um, as soon as we can. This is mighty interesting, isn't it? Let's uh, let's keep playing. Oh, 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 no! Click on it. Click. You're not even showing the freaking mouse cursor. Let's start up a new game. I wonder if we could. Oh. Is that a crash? That's crash! Yay! Crash! Alright, so this game published One Final Breath, Gasp, and Gasp Life on Mars. Oh, okay, that's just loaded the credits. And Gasp Life on Mars. So... Well, what is, what's the rating for these? One Final Breath. Rating? Negative. 17% of the 23 user reviews for this game are positive. That's more... That's less than a Gasp. So that shows some real prowess and expertise. No user reviews for Life on Mars DLC, released the day before Gasp did. This was released on November 11th, and this one was released, Gasp was released on, come on, November 12th. So for some reason, they released the DLC to Gasp a day before they released, released Gasp. That's very interesting. Life on Mars, I'm guessing it's just the same thing, except red. Judging by the looks. It looks like that. Let's look at the discussions for this game. This is, um, in Russian. Oh, there's a pin thing. Patch live. Still crashing after patch. People are complaining that this game is crashing! Uh, th th this. Oh my god, Control controls for this game. Okay. <laughs> Don't. Oh, wait, Jim Sterling made a video on this? I'll have to watch that. Um. Gasp. Let's play it again. Let's see if it's procedural. The logo kind of looks like the Alien Swarm logo. If you squint. So I guess that's the best thing I can say about this game. 
Let's see, is that true? Gasp. Uh, alien swarm would be an uncategorizable. Yes. No one. Yeah. Uh, it would be in multiplayer, wouldn't it? Sorry, I, I I organized my. No, it isn't. Where is it? Where is that? Or alien swarm. Yeah. It's a non-FPS action, which is dumb. Uh, although I guess that is what it is. Alien Swarm and Gasp. Not very similar logos now that I've actually looked at them, but whatever, man. Or in this game is not designed to hold your hand once you die, then you die. I don't, I think this is, I don't think this is tongue-in-cheek. I actually think this is legit, like, real, actual, legitimate, legitimacy. That's Crash. Yeah, it's probably just loading. I, I I should give it some credit. Although that my mouse pointer is not supposed to go like that. All right, cool. Hello? Yeah, listen to this kid talk for a little bit. Hello, respond. Yeah, so it is not. It's always the same in terms of the placements, but I wonder if you can if it's randomly generated which one is actually the end of the game. Miles from the LZ. So let's check this out, shall we? Yeah. We HUD. Heads up display. So I guess that could be used in a space context. There must be a glitch in your visor. Yep. We're unsure which is the right signal. What it, what is that voice acting? That delivery of lines that didn't even like freaking tell me that there was something heading for me. It just sort of landed, and that bounced off my face and didn't do any damage. So uh, oh, this is a really good game. We're all praying for you. Well, I'm praying for you that you get better at game design. How about that? Uh, let's go back to that previous topic. I'm gasping at how bad this game is. Gasp! This game is bad. Uh, uh, this game is so bad it gives me gas. Um, get all these puns are better than the game. Uh, gas. Pro gas planet. You don't go to gas planets on gas. That was just bad. Um, but better than this game. Uh. Better than this game. 1060. Oh, that's warning me where a thing is coming in. It's not act. No, it is. That's doing damage. That's a damage indicator. That's a hit icon. Hit indicator. Whatever. Shut up. But I've been hit. So I've taken a lot more damage this time around, but we can deal with that. Wee! Hey, this game isn't designed to hold your hand. Why does it? Why does? Why doesn't there? Why does there fall damage? Huh? 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 Dark Day Interactive? Huh? What? Are you some kind of casual game company? Are you trying to hold my hand? I want my hand held. This is not a hand holding game. I was, I was promised this would not be a hand holding game. Alright? You better give me back my money for this free game that I paid no money for. It looks like... It, I don't know. It, it's, too, it's too early to tell. Okay, well I am taking on some hits. Um, let's try to strafe around it. That's GPS. Set prev weapon is not a VP input manager's buttons. You must add it for the button to work. Ugh. <sighs> really? Okay. I don't know where these are coming from. The UI for telling me where... <laughs> <laughs> just disappeared in midair. Uh, at least wait till I'm looking away for it to disappear. Good God! So that's right there. Okay, I see. You can dodge him. That's dolphin. Sh <laughs> no, okay, no danger there. But apparently, that one right there that it didn't even warn me about at all was hit. Was coming near me. I decided, I don't need to warn him about that. That's something he can just dodge on his own. Huh, no. 
Nah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, a war meme is something that's like freaking miles away. But when something's like literally crashing down right next to me, you you don't need to you don't need to uh, tell me about that. That's completely fine. You don't need to do anything. That's fine. Hey. Ah. <sighs> Hold W and occasionally press spacebar and move the mouse. Um. Well, literally, I've been. My middle finger has been on W this whole time, and it didn't warn me about that. Thank you for not warning me about that. I really appreciate it. Real appreciate it. Uh, closing it on two thirds of the way there, which is not all that much. Um, we only have sixty percent, sixty-two percent, whatever. Shut up. Of our oxygen left. Good news is you don't move super slow. Yeah, I don't understand why when you look down it. Wait, wait. Oh, you're kidding me. It adds a vector of movement. Okay, so it adds um. It accelerates you in the direction that you're. I'm guessing. Yeah. If I look up and move, I sort of do a weird hop. That's really bad. Um. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. I was looking at that, and um, I was like, oh, we're halfway there, but that's not the distance from that. So I kind of made a mistake. That. I just sort of burst into a song. I'm sorry, I like to sing. Warning! 1.2 compressors! You can put it away unless you're in that motion. Hope you can visualize that. And. The, the, uh, heat from the, uh, the, the, the rock, uh, flying through the air, uh, you know, air is just stung in front of it, hitting it, and it goes, ah, and then it heats up, uh, and it sort of singes my hair. Whoa! <laughs> Not rare. Ooh, it looks like it's... Looks like it's randomly generated. Looks like it's random which one it is. That's really. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Random. It doesn't hold your hand. But. Mm. Weird. This is a one off to the side, way off to the side. So that's really bad. Yeah, no, that's definitely not. There's nothing there. Sorry, I just need to center my mouse a little bit more. Yes. I hate this UI. I hate the way this works. Um, the way the I guess that makes sense. In terms of realism context, what's a really realistic game? This isn't realistic, but what's a really realistic game that's good? Oh, ah, oh, that's just like a signal jammer box. Am I getting a ping from the correct one? Ooh! Nice! That's just like a normal piece of junk there. Um... Ah! And it shows me the unknown signal that I've already passed by, and... That- those are in front of each other, and there's no... Freaking... Uh... Contrast at all between them. Yeah, f***ing you in the crash site. Like, I don't need to know that. I'm... Hunter... So I'm about halfway to the new one now, and that didn't warn me about that at all. Unless that's just my O2 just naturally running out. In which case, that's really dumb. But... Yeah. Huh. Really calm and serene. And really, really boring. It's like Dear Esther, except Dear Esther actually, like, was fun. In a, a little bit. <laughs> yep. 
real nice game you got here. Uh, D Dream Day Interactive, or whatever your name is. Dark Day Interactive. I do research. <sighs> Take deep breaths. This guy's breathing is way out of rhythm. This guy needs to learn how to breathe better. I can't dodge that because I'm just keep I keep moving up. Ah! Okay, no, you can jump up there. Don't worry about it. Ouch. Okay. Ouch. That was a good movie. Remember uh ants? That's a good movie. Um woo! Kind of like that thing I described earlier, where like it's sort of something singes the top of your hair. Uh, right. Warning. Ah, no. Oh no. They really, they're really proud of that UI system. I tell you what, they're going to use that UI system within an inch of its life. The warning system. Okay. Forty-nine percent oxygen. Uh, forty-nine percent is also the level of. One crap that I give about this game. I don't know, that's kind of forced. Kind of phone that in. I'll try to think of something better. Um, 48. I'll just name SCPs based on that. Uh, SCP 048, that's, uh, that's the cursed SCP number. Nothing, uh. They had a lot of crap SCPs that were that number. And that's something neat. 049, the previous one was like a witch doctor. Not a witch doctor, a plague doctor. Very different things, depending on what kind of plague doctor it is. If it's a plague witch doctor, then for all means, go ahead. Uh, you know, and I'm not sure how prevalent that was in a. What? Oh, four seven. I haven't read. Uh, in uh, 14th century Europe, I think that's when the bubonic plague epidemic happened. Uh, these aren't leaving craters, these guys, um, so that's weird. They should at least be kicking up a little bit of dust. I mean, they are kicking up a little bit of dust, so I'm, I'm like making a dent in the surface, but I guess environment deformation is just a little bit too much for these people. Hmm? Warning! Freaking miles away. And they bounced off of something. And they didn't even hit me! Ha! Okay. Well, that's wonder wonderful. Warning miles away. Ah, I'm gonna stare it out of existence. See, oh, uh, the one that's two and a half miles away. We'll warn you, uh, miles, kilometers away. We'll warn you about. But the one that's literally about to hit you right there on your butt. Uh, or I, you, already, you already know about that. Oh, four or six. Not something I've read either. I need to read more SCPs. Um. I hope this is the one. It doesn't look like it'll be in. Not seeing any. Well, I guess it is on the other side of that hill. I'm assuming, of some hill at least. Eh. What? What? I. Uh... Are you joshing me? There's an invisible wall. Oh, ha ha ha! That's what the two things bounced off of. And there's this thing just leaning up against it. There's an invisible wall, blocking me from my objective. That doesn't make any sense at all. Over 5, haven't read that yet. I haven't read a lot of SCPs, so that's going to be... That really, except for 049 and 048, that's really going to be a little bit of a bummer. I can't get there. 500 meters away. 572, whatever. Meters away. And I've just been blocked off by an invisible wall. Also, I tripped. Um, so that's great. I don't even need to worry about those, because there's- I have an invisible wall on my side. Ha! Get dunked on! Oh, except for that one! That one that just literally hit me right here! Nah, don't warn me about that. That's fine. I don't need warned about that. I don't- I don't need warned? Ah, uh, English. Um... Right. That's a really- <laughs> Is this sort of fisheye lens? Hello, I'm Earth. Uh, uh, 
Mm. It's like it's like a pseudopod stretching out to grab some asteroids, some of that juicy, juicy mm, space station. <laughs> Let's squidge our way towards that. Yum, yum. Nah. Uh, blorp. Oh no, it's taking us away. Oh, let's blorp over here. So, three of the objectives are not even reachable. So it's over there then. What I'm looking for, that I'm. 2,000 meters away from. Great. Well, I should probably stop being so loud. Well, wonderful uh, atmosphere. Horrible atmosphere. But wonderful atmosphere. Really grainy and poorly aliased. Um. I like aliasing as much as the next guy, but I want it's this poorly done. Look at that. Look at those edges. I, I don't know why zooming in. Zooming in wouldn't help. You can see that, like, sort of really ragged edges. Also, fog and, like, dust apparently doesn't exist within, a uh, two centimeters of a rock, so that's wonderful. I assume that's an art style thing, but they seem to have been going for a fairly realistic one with, like, a pink tint, I guess. So, I'm not going to excuse that just yet. Ugh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh, two warning, boys. Okay. Uh, wow, this is boring. I understand the need for difficulty. You know, there's uh, a little bit of grind in any game. It's not gonna hurt you too much. I mean, grinding should be avoided, but like... A little bit of tedium in every game, you know, it adds to atmosphere. I can understand why you'd want something to be boring. Or something in a game. Papers, please. First few levels are boring, but they make way. First few, yeah, first few levels are boring. They are specifically boring because they simulate a super boring office job. However, as it racks up, it gets more intense and sort of, you know, the the stakes get higher. This, which makes it interesting. The stakes never get higher in here. All I can do is press W and occasionally D when it says warning. And that's it. And move my mouse around. And zoom into things. But that's it. Ugh. 1,800 some such meters away. Eh. Where am I going? There I'm going. There's another invisible wall, I swear to god. 39% oxygen levels. Ugh. Ah, boy. Well. Are you interesting? Are you interested yet? Is this an interesting game to you? Ooh, look at that. A nice little shadow. Ah. Nice little change. Change of pace. Okay. So, if you're looking at that angle, then it's bright. If you're looking at that angle, oh no, no, never mind. It was just when you're going downhill. It's all shady. By shady, I mean like in shadow and not like sketchy. And by sketchy, I mean like you know dubious and not like making drawings of things using pencil. And by drawing, I mean, like, making etchings onto paper, and not, like, uh, taking something out of a hat. And by, or, you know, out of a deck of cards. And by deck, I mean, you know, like, a set of 52 cards, or more, depending. Um... And not like, you know, a 
thing that's in your backyard that lets you stand without standing on grass. And by stand, I mean, uh, you know, standing on two legs. You know, being upright on two legs. And not, uh, like, you know, withstanding. Like, being able to Uh, you know, being able to stand something like tolerate. And I don't know how much longer I can go with this joke. Jesus Christ, just go faster. Player avatar. Do it. I'm saying the good name of our Lord in vain a lot. I apologize, Lord. Don't mean to defame you. Hallelujah. Um. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's the way I laugh. I hate the way I laugh. Um. I just sort of. Whenever I laugh, I just sort of breathe irregularly. <laughs> like that. It's really bad. I need to fix that. I don't know how you can work on the way you laugh. It's just over the next hill. And by the next hill, I mean that hill. Not this hill. 35% oxygen left. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. I've been recording this session for 25 minutes. If the escape probe can spawn on one that's inaccessible, then I'm gonna be ticked as heck. Yep, no, 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 don't warn him about that. Who needs warning about stuff? That, oh, I don't even know if that's a thing. Maybe that doesn't mean what I mean. Think what I mean. It, I think it means. I mean, can't read that. Horrible, horrible contrast. Enter nine five. Ah, oh, that's just over there. Ah, oh, yeah, no, that's the end. I can see sort of a space probe. So whatever. Uh, 34, that's 2 times 17. I'm gonna try to do the prime fact. No! Okay! Fine! There's another invisible wall! Ah, oh, boy! Ah, oh, it's real good. 34 is 2 times 17. Uh, 33 is 3 times 11. Um, that's really bad. Is there an invisible wall down as well? Now, I'm just gonna slide along this invisible wall till I die. Because that's gonna be interesting uh, to watch and not totally boring and tedious. And completely awful. Ugh. I think I've played this game for longer than I've played some legit games on my Steam library. That's how much I care about making this video. Ugh. Ah, oh, boy. Just kill me, please. No game should make you say that. 32 is 2 to the 5th, I believe. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 60, times 2 is 32. Yeah, no, that's 2 to the 5th. Let's go back to the crash site. So, no, it, it does spawn out of bounds. I saw the thing out of bounds, and it was there. Jesus. Okay, fine. Well, I'm just gonna stretch. Broke my back. There we go. Ugh. It's been a long while since I made a video. The uh, last one I made was uh, in yeah. So I made one of these videos. That last one I made is in October. Ugh. 31, I think, is prime. But don't quote me on that. Is 31 prime? Wait, hold on. I use one of my Christmas presents to fix this. Alexa, is 31 prime? Yes, 31 is prime. Cool. I got an echo for Christmas, and I've been using it way too much. Ugh. 
Hashtag sponsor. I've been sponsored by Amazon. Hashtag corporate chill. 30 is 3 times... 5 times 2. Oh, whoa, you can move these. Wow. Let's push this back to our home base. Ah, except that kills us. 26 is 2 times 13. Huh. That's great. Ah. Really love the lighting. How it completely messes up when you look down. Games that are set in space that are good. Rodina. Games that are set on the moon that are good. I'll... I'll do that. Uh, moon Base Alpha is a pretty good game. Um, if you have friends to play with. Um, screw it. Games that are set on space that are good. Sca games that are set on space that are bad. No, no Man's Sky. Bad game. But they're good. A smaller list. Uh... Rodina, definitely. Space Engineers, definitely a good game. Um, as I said, uh, that one that is called Moonbase Alpha, the one officially made by NASA. Really good, uh, sort of cooperative experience. Um, really great text to speech, also. Um, if you go on a if you go on a public server, expect you know a lot of text to speech. Twenty four is. It's 2 times 12, which is 2 times 6, which is 2 times... 2 times 12 is 2 times 6, which is 2 times 3. So 2 cubed times 3. <sighs> Trying to make it back. What's the prime factorization of 1726? I'm not gonna even try that. Wow. I'm just astonished that something this bad. I'm just astonished that this can be this boring. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Kill me! Kill me! You coward! Okay. Um. Uh, wow, we. I hope this is interesting to watch. Because this isn't interesting to make or play. Seriously, just these do contact damage. Yeah, twenty-one is three times seven, and those just do contact damage. Whenever you like push them, whenever you, oh, I see. Whenever you have like a physics interaction with them, whenever you cause them, twenty is uh two squared times five. Um, whenever you have like a physics interaction with them, they like take off a little bit of health. That's kind of a clever way to do that, but not really clever at all. Um, what, whenever you, like, cause it to accelerate, maybe? Is the way they coded that? I don't know. I'm not a- I don't make a lot of video games. I made a couple. Go check them out on my website. Uh, but I haven't made a lot. Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Yes, kill me! Kill me! Uh, yeah. Ah, come on, kill me. Hey, can you kill me? Kill me, kill me. 19 is prime. Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. Dang it. <sighs> kill me. <gasps> can you kill me? Oh, can you kill me? <gasps> can you kill me? Oh, do you want to kill me? Oh, do you want to kill me? Oh, it's going to kill me. Yay! No! Why isn't anything killing me? <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of... Bah! I can stand on them! I'm the king of the world! I can't jump on them, though. Because that would just be too... handholdy. Wow, I fell quick. Oh, does it count that as being me in midair? Wow, that's dumb. Uh, 18 is 3 squared times 2. Um... Okay, so the way I assume they've done the way falling works is the longer you spend in the air the faster you go down which sort of works that way in real life a little bit um 
but they counted me on top of those rocks as being in midair. So that's weird. Oh, you can start to get a mine into the mind of the developers. The boring, boring minds of the developers. A mine into the minds of the developers? Look, I'm not a speaking -ist. Ooh, can you kill me? Oh, yes, this is gonna be the one. Sweet release! Dang it! 17 is prime. Uh, let's go on. Yeah! Oh, 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 please, 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 no! <laughs> uh, can you imagine just a guy on a, in a space shoot? Space shoot? Space suit on the moon. That's a really weird shape. I wonder if the shapes of these are procedurally generated. One is not prime, and it is not composite either, and we're about to die. I wonder what happens when you die. Let's find out. Um, what is weird, because it has only one uh, factor. Only one factor, and uh, that's something that... Okay, apparently, you can just be at zero... Do you not die? Do you not die? Is that something that happens? Because that'd be really weird if you didn't die. Let's try to die. Zero is also... I don't think zero is prime. No, zero is like infinite composite. Yeah, there's infinite factors. Except one of them zero. Um, I'm just doing math. I don't know if that's real. Kill me. Uh, apparently that's not how- DEAD! Ah! Dead is not a prime number. Apparently dead doesn't kill you. It just makes that dead in the corner. Huh. I wonder if you can complete the game while dead. That'd be... Okay, I'm getting way too intrigued by this game. Um... That's really dumb. Well. Percent dead. If I lose any more health, does the game end? Let's find out on this next rock. What? Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah, come on. Come on! Kill me! Why can't I die? Ah! Can you not die in this game? Because that'd be really sp something special. Oh, wow! Okay. You have, like, Spider-Man grip in this game, though. Look at that. Zoop! Whee! You don't even keep the velocity. You just sort of scale it. Whee! Now let's get crushed. Yeah, you can't die in this game. Ugh. Options! Ooh, options! Settings! Let's see what the settings are like. Decrease. Oh my god. <laughs> the, 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 the. Soft vegetation? Okay, that's kind of bad. Increase, decrease. Soft vegetation? There's no vegetation. Decrease or increase your settings, eh? That's just like weird. System. Graphics. That's correct. Direct 3D 11.0. NVIDIA Shadows available. Alright. So apparently it gets that I have a GTX 916 with that much RAM. Does that quit to the menu? Or okay, no, that just quits. Thanks for watching. <laughs> that was gasp. Jesus Christ. I need to go take a shower from how awful that was. Bye!